Oh, hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Today we are going to build a headphone stand out of a nice piece of ash. Where do I put these? Well, let's build a stand. I thought you were going to... All right, here is the design for the headphone stand. Stand in the place where you live. Now and face north. We did this in Rhino CAD. And this is the plexiglass that's going to be in the middle of the, I guess, the part that holds the headphones. Yeah, I'm going to put RGB LEDs in this to hopefully illuminate this and make it look really cool. And this is a uh, home-built CNC machine that so far is working pretty well. And we're going to glue two walnut pieces uh, on either side of that plexiglass. Yep, got this wood from Uncle Dave's wood pile. Needs to keep supplying us this nice wood. Yeah, this is the same wood that we used on the snare drum. Yep. And now we're cutting out uh, both sides and they are an exact copy of the plexiglass piece. And this is the underside of the base. That's where the electronics are going to go. And we flip the piece over and we're cutting out the, the top. It's got a bunch of different contours. And you can go out and get lunch while this is happening. cut that base in half so we could glue in the, the walnut and plexiglass pieces. And epoxy glue is doing the trick. Didn't want to use high glue in this. Uh, it seems like the epoxy was going to be faster and this isn't going to be anything that needs to be structural. All right, so that's kind of the rough view of what it's going to look like when it's finished. And of course, sanding, sanding, sanding. bunch of coats of Danish oil. This it didn't take that long. It was probably over about, well, it was actually over about two weeks, but I let it sit there for a while. And now the, now the electronics part. These are the LEDs that were kind of twisting all the ends together. Yeah. There's a RGB LEDs and you're using 220 ohm resistors for each pin. Yeah, so the, the red, the green, and the blue all get a uh, their own electric Sign. signal. And then there's a ground. And we are going to hook this up to an Arduino. And uh, the Arduino has a, has a chip in there, and we're going to just program a, a quick loop that, that sort of cycles through the colors. It blends the, uh, the, you know, the red, the green, and the blue together. Do you remember where, where you got your uh, the chip? website. Oh, I got all this stuff off of Amazon. 
There's all the LEDs kind of bundled together. And this is the Arduino, so this is powered by USB. And um, we're gonna uh, put the electronics in the bottom now. We just glued those LEDs as close as we could to the plexiglass in the inside. And this is the code for anyone who's interested. Um, it was pretty easy to, to find, one, find this stuff on the internet, but if you notice that for you code people, all it's doing is running a loop um, and it's turning each pin up individually to kind of change the colors. And uh, now we're hooking up hooking up each pin to a spe specified pin on the Arduino, I think 9, 10, and 11. Pulse width modulation. And there is yeah. the stand running. And I've got another look right here. Illumination. And there it is on the desk with the, holding the headphones. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button.